Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zeke and I'm here to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, as we know, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is the official Treyarch's game this year and I'm really excited about it. I really wanted to have Black Ops 3. You know, some people are disappointed about this because they wanted to see World at War 2 return. But, you know, I didn't I didn't want it that much. I'd rather have Black Ops 3, so you know, the Call of Duty gods heard me and we have Black Ops 3 this year now. Uh, we actually got uh, the release date of the game. Now, I'm not sure if that's the official, but it should be the official date on November the 6th. So, uh, that's what it said on the poster and we still can't confirm it. It wasn't confirmed by Activision. So, that is about it now. Of course, as you can see in the title, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is going to have beta. Now, we haven't had, you know, yeah, the last time when we had beta was World at War, and Call of Duty World at War was one of the best Call of Duty games ever, and they are definitely trying to uh, keep on that, keep on that uh, road in that way, and, uh, you know, I'm really excited. If the game actually releases on November, then they'd have to make beta, you know, a couple months before it, you know, somewhere on October or September, somewhere around that time, and I think it's gonna stay for like a week or two, and yeah, that's it. So, and yeah, we still have the information, pretty much a lot of information about zombies, multiplayer, and campaign. So I'm just gonna start reading, guys, all of it. And yeah, enjoy the video. So let's get started. So the first thing is I want to talk about zombies because this is like the most exciting thing, guys. So let's start. No Treyarch title would be complete without its signature zombies offering. A full game experience with its own distinct storyline right out of the box. Black Ops 3 Zombies is the most immersive and ambitious Call of Duty Zombies to date with a full XP based progression system for players that adds depth and replayability to re-engaging gameplay zombies fans have to come expect. So guys, this is just amazing, this is what I wanted. We're getting XP based system or progression in Black Ops 3 Zombies and that is just amazing. I'm kinda disappointed that they're gonna start a new storyline because I thought they would continue the storyline with, uh, you know, Maxis and Rick Toffin, but you know, I think they left it and we're gonna have something new, which is exciting, you know, a new storyline isn't that bad as well, so, yeah, now, we also got some multiplayer uh, uh, information, so I'm just gonna read that for you guys. With Black Ops 3, Treyarch premieres a new momentum-based chain movement system allowing players to fluidly move through the environment with finesse using controlled thrust jumps, slides, and mantling abilities in a multitude of combinations, all while maintaining complete control over your weapon at all times. Maps are designed from the group from, from the ground up for the new movement system allowing players to be successful with traditional movement as well as the advanced tactics and maneuvers. Black Ops 3 multiplayer also introduces the new specialist character system which allows players to rank and master each specific character battle hardened capabilities and weapons. With this addition to traditional NX weapon XP progression system, Black Ops 3 multiplayer gives players three different ways to rank up. Now, I'm not sure what to think of the uh, specialist XP ranking thing, I'm not sure what's that gonna be, but I'm happy that weapon XP is back, because that's one of the favorite things from Black Ops 2, and maps are designed for the new movement system. Now, I didn't really want it to be, you know, that much, that much, you know, futuristic with the mantling and, you know, the thrust jumps, it's basically the same thing as the boost jump, I think, so... I don't know, but Manling is kind of cool, I think, you know, this is going to be like second Titanfall or something. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think, but we're just going to finish this up, guys, with the Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 campaign information, because this is, you know, where it gets hype. So, guys, let's go to campaign. Treyarch elevates the Call of Duty social gaming experience by de delivering a campaign with the ability to play cooperatively 
with up to four players online, using the same battle-tasted network infrastructure and social systems that support its world-class multiplayer and zombies game modes. Designed for co-op and replayability, players encounter all the epic cinematic gameplay moment moments Call of Duty is known for delivering as well as new open area arena style gameplay elements designed to allow players to approach the game with a different strategy each time they play. And now, every player is completely customizable from weapons, loadouts, to abilities and outfits. All with full progression system and personalized armory to show of accomplishments providing a constantly evolving game uh, campaign experience so this is probably the best thing that we had because you know co-op campaign last time we had it in world at war as well so you know two things copied from world at war right now and you know you know I always enjoyed uh, co-op uh, gameplay uh, you know, all campaigns, so this is going to be really exciting, and the best thing out of this is that we uh, we can customize our characters as much as we want, which is probably the best thing about campaign, and you know, four players campaign is just insane. I think it's going to be kind of harder with each player you uh, play, you know, if it's three players, it's going to be harder than two, and four players harder than three, so... I think it's gonna be in that way, but hopefully guys you enjoyed the video. I really put a lot of effort in these videos just so you can enjoy them and a like would be so much appreciated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.